Hi teachers, this is Kat from catteacher.com. I just wanted to show you guys how to play a video through Minicam. So you might want to find a YouTube URL and play it in your Dad Dad classroom. So here's what you're going to do. Uh, you can open up Minicam and you can click this plus in the middle. Uh, if you don't see this plus, you can always right click as well. It's the same thing. So we're going to click right here and we're going to add a YouTube URL. That seems pretty easy, right? So now some people were having a couple of problems and even I was having some problems entering in a URL. So let's go figure out what that problem is. Um, basically you can go to catteacher.com and you can find my YouTube channel right here and it will take you to my YouTube channel, which is pretty fun. I've got a couple of story time things which are really nice and easy, especially for young learners. So let's go ahead and click on one and let's look at the top. This is the easiest type of URL for Minicam. You'll notice that um, if any of the shortened, like u.tube.com kind of things are showing up, Minicam doesn't like them as much. So if you check out the, check out the YouTube URL, enter it right here. It will take a little bit to load. If it's taking a long time to load, that's probably going to be more of an internet problem than a Minicam problem. Um, most of these are really short and easy videos, and they'll start from the very, very beginning. Uh, if you're worried about computer lag or anything like that, you can turn it down to low definition. The kiddo will see it just fine in the classroom. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it on standard. Hit OK, and it will just sit in the middle of your video, which is kind of cool. So um, this would sit on top of me. Another option, well, we'll pause that because it's playing right now. Another option is to switch over to another screen entirely. So that way um, you're on the side, the kid can see um, the entire thing and we'll do the same thing. We'll enter the YouTube URL and we'll hit OK and then it'll show like this. Um, in my classroom, I always keep it at 480 or 240p. Now you'll notice that uh, this works out really well. I would avoid doing 720 because this is going to have black lines uh, above and below your video in the Dada classroom. So I usually keep mine at 240 or 480 for the sake of the video. And then they can see it in the middle. And then when you go back to your normal screen here, you will look uh, just fine and you won't have those black lines. Uh, now some trouble that you might run into. If you try to copy a video URL like this, you'll notice that when you try to add it here, it's a little bit of a different kind of link and it says it failed to load the YouTube video. I would just go back, take this link, go all the way back to YouTube here, type it in here and get the desktop URL because that's gonna be a lot easier and this should work then instead. Uh, let's go back to YouTube take this and enter that there and here we go it's loading correctly okay so those are just a couple of problems you might run into uh, the stories that I use are great because you're an English speaker you can um, easily talk them out with your student and you'll have a lot of fun reading them you don't need to worry about the sound which is a whole nother monster uh, when using it in the dad classroom so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and I hope you guys have fun reading these stories in class you guys have a great day I'll talk to you soon